Hi, I'm Bill Hogrew, a Rural Development Specialist with the Rural Community Assistance Partnership. We're here at a fairly typical wastewater treatment plant that has many of the same unit operations and processes that most wastewater treatment plants have. In this series of videos, we'll find out how wastewater is treated, why the processing of wastewater is so important, and give you a basic overview of the process. You'll hear about various things that need to be considered in each step and the types of things your operator is concerned about. We'll look at collection systems, preliminary, primary, and secondary treatment, solids handling, sludge thickening, digestion, dewatering, and effluent disinfection and disposal. There are many different options for treating wastewater, and they vary in level of complexity. Your community could have individual on-site septic tanks. They could have a collection system and go to a lagoon. The lagoon could have aerators or could have more complex mechanical treatment. Each one of these separate pieces of treatment technology can be correlated to any level of complexity of wastewater treatment. Somewhere high up in the mountains, we've taken water out of the creek, put it into our drinking water system, goes into our collection system, flows to our wastewater treatment plant, and we're gonna look at all the processes in that wastewater treatment plant that bring the water back to condition where we can discharge it once again downstream. Mm -hmm.